Does the name Noel Wilcox ring any bells of anybody? Hmm? If it doesn't, let me remind you, he's the guy that ran up a load of uh, LEZ, low emission zone charges, in his uh, lorry to do with his business. He refused to pay them. And the whole thing went to court, and he won. What TFL should have done was refund all of the fines to people because it's set a precedent that the whole thing's a big old sham, and conveniently, it's being ignored. Let's talk about it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me once again. And as always, appreciate the support. Well, let's jump straight into this, shall we? Wilcox, that man I mentioned at the beginning, what basically happened, he ran up a load of low emission zone fees and he decided, no, nah, not paying them. Why the hell should I have to? It, it went to court and it was found in his favour on the basis that the actual signs which advertise that you're entering into a low emission zone and by proxy an ultra low emission zone are actually unlawful because they don't display any of the charge information, when the charge applies, how much it is, the consequence if you don't pay, and so on and so on and so on. If you go across something like the Dartford Crossing, it's all there, and not so in London. So on the basis of that, really, if it's been uh, deemed unlawful, anybody that's been fined, should they get their money back? Now, there's a question. Have a look at this news article here. And uh, Sadiq Khan and TfL have been accused of ignoring a legal ruling ordering them to refund unlawful low emission zone fines. Noel Wilcox, the boss of Elevation Access, has now launched a crowdfunding website to continue his fight in the courts against what he claims are Les and ULES signs. Scaffold company owner Mr Wilcox has accused Transport for London of resorting to what he called bully boy tactics by ignoring the ruling handed down by a traffic tribunal court two years ago. Mr Wilcox went to court after being slapped with a dizzying £11,500 in fines related to his company truck driving to and from a depot in northwest London. The area was within the capital's low emission zone, which relates to heavy diesel-powered vehicles. And he got annihilated, basically, uh, fine-wise, and he was told he had to pay 11500 Went to court and we know the result. Howard Cox, as part of the campaign trail, according to that article, has turned around and said that Sadiq and his TFL cronies are ignoring it. And they know full well that it's unlawful. They have to refund that money. No two ways about it. Let me know what you think of this. And also, let me know how you think it applies to, well, the ULES signs and the whole scheme in total. And do you think it chucks the spanner in the works? Or am I and everyone else barking up the wrong tree? Anyway, thank you. That's another one. I appreciate the support. As I said, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Andy the Gabby Cabby, hit the like button, leave comments, share the content. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo.